I think the creative streak in me comes from my mother and my father was the uh, more scientific, uh, realistic person. I couldn't have wished for better parents. My first uh, experience uh, of dad was his deafness and uh, my primary school teacher said to me years later that when she asked me what I wanted to do, she, I said to her, I'd like to fix ears. I really had a passion to do what I said I wanted to do, and that was study auditory brain physiology. I wanted to do research that would help people. And, and so I started with a very small team to, to, to prove the principle that multi-channel stimulation would be satisfactory. And I was fortunate. It was only the second time that the government funded a research and development uh, project. I could quietly work away on all these things and I didn't have to follow the crowd. I was passionate about uh, developing uh, industry in Australia. I hope that what I've done has been a help. It's been a joy to see the unexpected benefits to children and adults and to see the children doing better than I ever imagined. Honestly, it brings tears to my eyes still. Now, I still feel excited by research. I wish I could be still leading a team, but I think because it's opened up such a wide variety of uh, subjects, because the technology has changed, there are almost limitless opportunities to develop the, st the research and the development of cochlea. I'm pleased that the work has been recognised by some significant bodies, but when I put my emphases in order, I must say I have always tried to make family first. My wife has been remarkable and a tremendous mother, wife and supporter. Now I've got to the stage of reflection and uh, thinking about the cochlear implant industry um, and uh, what surprises me is that uh, it's doing so well for a start. And I think we've established a model for what other enterprises and places should do. And I think um, it's something that we can all be proud of.